The State of the Union speech has been uh, canceled by Nancy Pelosi because she doesn't want to hear the truth. She doesn't want the American public to hear what's going on. And she's afraid of the truth. And the super left Democrats, the radical Democrats, what's going on in that party is shocking. I know many people that were Democrats and they're switching over right now and they're switching over quickly. So I hope they know what they're doing for their party. So far, they haven't. If you know, I won the Senate, meaning we won the Senate all together, but we get no credit for that. They don't talk about that. They talk about the House. I didn't have any chance to, other than a couple of people, like from Kentucky, where I went and campaigned for Andy Barr. And for some others, they ended up winning their races, but I couldn't campaign too much. Too many people. But we did a great job with the Senate, and uh, people don't want to talk about it. I will say that the American people want to hear the truth. They have to hear the truth. And the truth is all about and said, I think, and I hope well, we were planning on doing a really very important speech in front of the House and the Senate, the Supreme Court, and everybody else that's there. It's called the State of the Union. It's in the Constitution. We're supposed to be doing it, and now Nancy Pelosi, or Nancy as I call her, she doesn't want to hear the truth, and she doesn't want to hear, more importantly, the American people hear the truth. So uh, we just found out that she's canceled it, and I think that's a great blotch on the incredible country that we all love. It's a great, great, horrible mark. I don't believe it's ever happened before. And it's always good to be part of history, but this is a very negative part of history. This is where people are afraid to open up and say what's going on. So it's a very, very negative part of history. So Nancy Pelosi, knowing these facts and knowing it's something that she can't win, that she just went out and said, let's cancel for the first time in the history of our country. Let's cancel the State of the Union address. And it's a disgrace. Just so you know, she uses on the basis of the shutdown, but when she asked me to make the address, formally in writing, most of you have a copy of the letter, when she asked me to make the address, she did it during the shutdown, well into the shutdown, by a couple of weeks. So the shutdown was going on. Now she's blaming the shutdown. So if it was because of the shutdown, why do you ask that the address be made? And she asked that the address be made during the shutdown. And now she's blaming the shutdown. She also knew, because she went to our people and she asked, would it be a security problem? She knew it wasn't a security problem. She blamed security. But she knew it wasn't a security problem. And she knew that loud and clear. And uh, she went to the people. She asked, they said, we have no problem whatsoever. I just got back from Iraq. I was very safe in Iraq and I felt very safe. We had great, great security. If we can handle Iraq, we can handle the middle of Washington and a very, very spectacular building and a beautiful room that we should be in, and that's where it's been for a very long time. So it's a sad thing for our country. Uh, we'll do something in the alternative. We'll be talking to you about that at a later date.